Hello everyone, today I am sat on the floor. I was gonna say that like it's exciting, but I film every video sat on my floor. But today I'm sat on a different section of my floor. Thrilling. I am sat by my makeup drawers because today I'm gonna be filming my makeup collection and I've just realized my mic is in shot. God damn it, Michael, move. I'm actually like, it's really heavy. It's a microphone. Today I'm gonna be filming my makeup collection video because I do one of these every year and they're always like my most requested videos ever. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty chill. Hair's in a bun, hardly got any makeup on, just chilling. So it's just gonna be a relaxed vid. Before I start, I just wanted to say that I wanna do another subscribers choose my makeup video because I haven't done one in but I'm in ages. What's going on? What is this? that do. God, so many interruptions in this goddamn intro. Um, yeah, I want to do another subscribers choose my makeup video, so if you guys want to get involved with it, check the description box and I'll write in there what you've got to do to potentially be in the vid. I'll just quickly show you like the storage before we get into them. These are the Alex 5 drawers. Wait, I did that last time, I had to count them. There's, there's five drawers. It's the Alex 5 drawers and I've just got it underneath this desk which is also from Ikea. Oh yeah, these are from Ikea but I feel like everyone knows that because everyone has them. And then yeah, it's just under my desk which is pretty handy. Got like my Mac up there, I've got my brushes here, got a nice lamp there. Bits and bobs here. Um, yeah, that's basically where my makeup lives. It's in all of these drawers. In the last one, my makeup filled up one, two and three and then these ones had I think it had underwear in it last time, it doesn't anymore. This time we filled up all of the drawers with makeup because obviously I got a bit more now. Let's go. So this is my top drawer and I'm just gonna do like a little overview before I show you guys everything properly. So, oh, and I'm sure lots of people are gonna ask, so I'll mention it now. The trays that I use to like divide everything, they are from Amazon. In the top drawer, I've got kind of like, this section is kind of like my under foundation section. So if we move this big ass circle out the way, <laughs> basically stuff that you'd put on underneath your foundation is all in this box here. And yeah, middle tray is foundations. The end one here is concealers. And then like down the back there, we've got setting sprays and stuff like that. So starting at the back, I've got this big MUA Pro what are you? I don't even know. Prime and Conceal Correcting Wheel. As you can see, I've never used it because it looks a little scary and I don't really tend to use stuff like that, but I should probably try it because doesn't it look nice? Do you know what? It makes my makeup collection look well pretty, so I'll keep it there for that. Um, I've got some more MUA products, but these are their concealing, no, nope, correcting powders. What even is that? So I've got some of them. Got a load of primers here. We've got Benefit primers, Body Shop primers, uh, some MUA Oh, they're not primers, they say prism. <laughs> I thought it said primer, so I put it there. <laughs> Classic. This says prism. Oh, they're strobe creams. So they are still in the right section, but I thought they were primers. We've also got some more body shop bits here. We've got their illuminating drops, bronzy drops as well, which are pretty good. And then we've also got a bunch of color correcting concealers here. So we've got the Urban Decay ones and then underneath them, they are the Makeup Revolution ones. And then here we've got the collection ones. Oh, and this obviously, I'll put it back now. So yeah, these are my foundations. I've basically got two layers. So the ones on the top are the ones that I think I'm probably more likely to use. And then the ones underneath, I'd basically never use. They just sort of sit there, just chilling underneath. Um, they, oh God, my voice then, um. <laughs> This one doesn't even fit. He's a right pain in the ass. So I've got the Primark one just chilling on the top. I'm gonna move it just for now. I've got a bit of Bare Minerals, which I still need to try. I've got the Ordinary Foundation, my classic EX Classic. No, because it's quite new actually, so I can't call it classic. What I'm trying to say is the one that I always use, the EX1 Foundation. Elf foundation, a L'Oreal foundation. I always go to say Maybelline, it's L'Oreal. The Laura Mercier foundation. That blimming Dermacol thing. Do you remember when I tested that? That was so full coverage. I literally thought my face wasn't my face anymore. Some like body shop, got a BB cream. We've got a collection color match. Makeup Revolution, oh no, it's not called that anymore. Revolution Pro, I'm always gonna still call it Makeup Rev, like I'm just too used to it. This is old, this is a Soap and Glory foundation. Oh man. We've got the CYO foundation. Um, what else we got? A, 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 a body shop foundation and then Stop it. Collection Last Imperfection Foundation. A, pff, look at me trying to do this, what is that? Clinique Foundation, and this one, this is a, I like that noise. 
a doe 10 foundation that i still haven't tried <laughs> Oh, I think that's kind of back how it was. So yeah, those are my foundations. I'm literally like, hello. <laughs> oh no, this is a very hard angle. I like a bit of this one, Makeup Revolution, Conceal and Define. This is the EX1 Delete Fluid that I recently tried. I really like that. And then the Collection Last Imperfections, obviously classic. Um, oh, this one, the Urban Decay, Decay what? Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Concealer. That is a good one. Oh, oh God. Sorry. And then underneath we've just got like the concealers that I don't really use. We've got a bit of, oh that was too dark for me. I don't even know who it is. Oh Maybelline. Uh, yeah it is Barry M. I thought it was. Barry M. Hey there's another Last Imperfection cheeky one sneaking, sneaking down there. <laughs> got the MUA concealer, um, Benefits Boing concealer thing there. Oh we've got some stick ones under here that I never really use. They just they just stay hidden. Those are my concealers, but the ones on the top, just like the foundation, I just keep the ones on the top that I'm gonna use because obviously that's logical. And then finally for this drawer, we've got some setting sprays down the end. So I've got the two iconic prep set glow thingies here. I've got a Kiko primer and fixer spray. I've got under there a body shop vitamin E, I was gonna say C, vitamin E, good job I checked, setting spray. We've got the model zone one night stand setting spray and then another body shop setting spray down there you can just see it poking through and that is draw number one complete so this is the second drawer i'm just going to do a quick overview again basically pretty simple blushes bronzers and contoury bits powders loose powders oh sorry and a random eyelash curler hello oh my goodness that's terrifying i think there's a little smear on you Oh, these were the new ones I got in my PO box, the Rosie for Autograph ones. I still need to give them a try. And then I've also got a Stila, um, whoa, I forgot that it was that colour. We can see why I haven't tried that yet. It's like a Stila cream blush. And then also a Lumen, 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 <gasps> that sounds correct, Lumen, oh. Squeezy nubbin, we love those. I'd kind of call them like my cheaper blushes. I think these are all like one pound. You've got Makeup Revolution, MUA. We've got a NYX blush. We've got a Miss Sporty blush. Ooh, that's pretty actually. I need to use that more. We've got a couple of 17 blushes. A e.l.f. blush. Oh, number seven. Oh, a Primark one. Actually, that's a nice one, the Primark one. I've got three of the Soap and Glory Major Blush blushes. One, two, three. And a miniature Benefit Gold Rush blush. Gold, gold, blah, 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 blah. gold Rush blush. A big mama version. So you've got the mummy and the baby. This was in my expired makeup video and I was like, I'm going to bin it all. I couldn't bin my... Bin? <sighs> I couldn't bring myself to bin my Coralista. This is so nice. This is the I Heart Makeup Blushing Hearts blush thing. This little cute blush by Paul and Joe, whoever they are. We've got a MUA pixel thing. I just love the like the like design of it. It looks so cool. And then lastly, we've got a BH Cosmetics. Oh yeah. Oh, you can't even see. That one's cool, isn't it? So this is my little bronzy section and I'm just gonna start on this end because I've got like the liquidy creamy things over here. So these are actually a few of the model zone concealers but I've just got them here because they're in like darker shades. So they kind of work for contour if you are good at that kind of thing, which I'm not. So I've got a few of them. I've also got some, what's this? Ooh, collection contour sticks. I've got two of them, don't know why. I've got a, uh, oh yeah, this is the Primark one. I've got a Makeup Revolution, I get up guys, not Makeup Revolution, Revolution one. And I've also got a CYO contour stick there as well. This is the Makeup Revolution bronzer. We've got a NYX, a blush. You have a me on. That doesn't look like a blush, that looks like a contour i've got a oh what are you oh a makeup obsession bronzer a miss sporty glow bronzer it's not even in shot there you go got the miss lynn bronzer thing that i got recently this is me old soap and glory solar powder i didn't bin that one either it's old but i didn't bin it because it's just a classic and then i've got the mua sculpt 
thing. Yeah, bronze and sculpt contour thingy my bob. Everything's just a thingy my bob. And then an elf bronzer at the back there. Then on this side, I've got the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. I've got the Ciate Bronzer. Look at the packaging. <gasps> I think this is a little, yeah, a little revolution bronzer. I could, I did it right that time. I didn't call it Makeup Revolution. And then I've also got two Benefit bronzers. We've got Hula Light and just original Hula. That is my bronzy bronze section done. This is my powder section for like pressed powders. And obviously I've got my classic Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the one I use pretty much all the time. So these guys just get neglected. I've got two Primark ones on the front here. This one's pink. Is it a powder? Maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Um, it lives there anyway. I've got a Maybelline Fit Me powder a MUA powder. These are just all from my testing videos. I've got the e.l.f. powder and another MUA. And then down the back here, we've just got the evil loose powders that always make an absolute mess. Like even here, there, there's mess on them because I mean, they're just messy things, aren't they? So we've got the RM's, no, oh, every time, RCMA, no color powder. I've got three Makeup Revolution, no. Oh, come off it. Three Revolution powders. I've got the banana one which is actually too dark for me. I've got the ghost powder which is perfect match for me isn't it? Look at this like bright white. And then the one that's actually my personal fave out of the three is the lace powder. So yeah I've just got those three there. Oh they look so cute just in a little row. And then I've also got a CYO loose powder and a Maybelline Master Fix loose powder that you can't see because it's out of focus. Cool. How do people film these really well? I don't know how they do it, it's really hard. And there we go, we are finished with you. Oh, this is drawer number three. So a quick overview again. We've got, I can barely see down the back, but if you can see right back there, I've got some like eyelashes or it looks like we're missing one. The next one is like glitter eyeshadowy things, if you know what I mean. And then the next one is like, what would I call this? I mean, there's some brow things on the top because they don't fit in the brow section, but like underneath, there's, oh, there's more brow things. Okay, um, <laughs> that's not what I expected. There's like eyeliners and stuff like this here and a random eyeshadow primer. This section is just all eyebrow stuff. This is all of my like individual highlighters. So just anything that's not in a palette. And then down here, oh, sorry. Down here we've got mascaras and that is number three. I'll now show you it in a bit more detail in case you want to. So like I said, eyelashes are right at the back, but I feel like they're just a little bit yawn. Like I don't think you really want to see eyelashes. So just know that they're there. This section is kind of cute. Like it's a nice little glittery section, but I'm just going to move these quickly because I feel like they're kind of taking over a little bit. Yeah, I've got a CYO individual eyeshadow and then another one, a couple of Barry M Dazzle Dust thingies, which are you know, basically my childhood. And then here we've got a load more. Is this all Barry M? I think it is. So it's just filled with their like glittery eyeshadows that are on these little, I don't know, in these little tubes. And yeah, we've got the glitter bomb ones and the crystal jewel ones over here. So yeah. So the products that I just moved were the Benefit Browsing's Brow Powder and the Benefit Foolproof Powder. So they just sort of live on here. Oh yeah, there's also this as well. This is the iconic brow cushion thingy. I've got a load of like coal pencil liners, which I don't really use anymore. A blah, 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 Revolution eye primer. And then on this side, a load of like liquid liners. So as you guys know, I don't really use them anymore. And then here I've just got two MAC paint pots. I've got one in the shade Painterly, which works as like an eye primer or like a little base, if you know what I mean. And then I've got the other one in the shade Let's Skate, which I'm supposed to have binned again. That was in my expired makeup video but I haven't binned it. This one's like a shimmery one so I don't really know what its purpose is but let me just pop these back in here. So again for eyebrows I've kind of just got the stuff that I use more often on the top so I've got two of my favorite like setting thingies so I've got the Benefit Gig no that's that one the Benefit Ready Set Brow and then the Benefit Gimme Brow as well because I use those all the time and then recently I've been using this Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil so I've got that on top I also quite like the Benefit Goof proof brow pencil and I also really like the Soap and Glory Archery brow pen so they're just kind of chilling oh hello they're just chilling on the top and then underneath is just an absolute ton of different eyebrow pencils that I've either got for testing videos and stuff like that a lot of them 
don't match me because obviously I've brought them for a testing video and then I've been like, ah, it's not quite good enough. So oh, that sounds so snooty. If it's not quite good enough, I meant, <laughs> I meant like it wasn't the right shade for me. That's what I mean. So they're just chilling down there just in case I ever need them. But these ones on the top are the ones that I'm using at the moment. And then here we've got all of the like eyebrow pomades. So two of them come on these little fancy things with little brushes in the top. This is the Benefit Cabrow. And this is a, I think this is an Astor one and then here I've got the Anastasia dip brow pomade and a freedom brow pomade there so those are my pomades those are my pencils and my setting things all together we've got a nice little eyebrow family <laughs> and then down the side here I've just got all of my mascaras I recently had a massive mascara clear out so there aren't many left now but yeah these are the ones that I'm using at the moment so I've got them at the front I'm not going to touch them because my mascara section is balanced and then the three at the front are the iconic London boom lash mascara the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I'm getting out of breath, I tell ya. This is a lot of chatting. Okay, so these are all of my individual highlighters. We've got liquid highlighters over here. So I've got the MUA Light Luster liquid highlighters. Still not tried them, actually. This one looks quite cool. I've got the Iconic London Illuminators. I've got the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops. All of that one swanky and then i've got the revolution liquid highlighter here oh, that's a really nice squidgy nub and i've also got the old classic benefit high beam which i've had for quite a long time now not gonna lie and then down here which is gonna be kind of hard to show you guys but i've got more like creamy highlighters so i've got the la girl cream highlighter the number seven instant radiance highlighter the ciate dewy sticks highlighter i've got the collection finishing touch highlighter and i've also got the l'oreal true match liquid highlighter this is the pink one obviously and then i've also got like a bronzy one there you can just see it in the corner so yeah those are all of my liquidy highlighters and then for powder highlighters we have where do i even start okay i've got the revolution powder i don't even know what your name is oh platinum ingot highlighter that's a pretty nice one <gasps> the rainbow what's he doing down there there. he's well attractive this is the revolution rainbow highlighter as you can very well see looks very nice this is the revolution skin kiss highlighter and i love this one like i don't know why i don't use it anymore it's such a good highlighter and it is huge we've got just some little highlighters here the makeup obsession another oh no that's an eyeshadow makeup obsession highlighter again the purple one that i used to love so this is another miss sporty insta glow thingy but this is their highlighter i've got the i heart makeup unicorn heart thingy highlighter i've got a bunch of the mua undress your skin highlighters so i've got the whitey one the pinky one oh look a sneaky little primark highlighter at the bottom there and then i've also got the purpley blue mua highlighter a more like silvery toned one and oh another pink one and i think that's that's the bottom i've got the nyx duo chrome highlighter a revolution baked highlighter and another MUA one, but this is their Prism highlighter. I am saying highlighter a hell of a lot here. Like seriously, oh my goodness, my voice is going where I'm talking so much. <laughs> I've got two Ciate highlighters. Again, look at the amazing packaging. I've got two of them down there. Oh, a couple of mini Revolution highlighters that I got on the advent calendar. I've got the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle highlighter and then another one. Yeah, it is. It's a CYO highlighter down there. I've got my new favourite, my Ofra highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut. I absolutely love this one. Like, this is the one that I'm always using at the moment. It is so good and then i've also got a couple of l'oreal true match highlighters here this is like a paler one and then there's a slightly more bronzy one underneath and that is all of my like powdery highlighters and liquid highlighters that are individual but obviously we've got a few more when we get to the palette section and my voice is getting so croaky i hope it's not annoying for you guys but <clears throat> So this is my lipstick drawer. I feel like this is my fave because it just looks like nice to look at. It's very like brightly coloured and it's all quite nicely organised. Like I love how things are like in line. Oh. So yeah, this is my lipstick drawer. I'm just going to briefly go through it. We've got like standard lipsticks over here, like the ones that are in 
you know, standard lipstick tubes. We've got lip glosses, more lip glosses, uh, uh, crayon lip products, I guess that's what you'd call them, lip liners, um, some more lipsticks, I'll explain it more as I go into detail, and then all of this is liquid lipsticks. Okay, so starting at the back, we've got some Models Own lipsticks at the back. We've got some L'Oreal Gold ones, they're like Gold Obsession, something like that. And then here we've got a bunch of these like, Miss Sporty lipsticks. I've got them in loads of different colours there. And then I've got just some Makeup Revolution ones on top. And then these aren't in like any particular category because they're just like random individual brands, if you know what I mean. So we've got all sorts here. We've got some NYX. We've got the classic um, Rimmel Cape 107 one. Do you remember that? That is a classic. I've got a few collection lipsticks. I've got oh i don't know just a load of like drugstore brand lipsticks basically a lot of them again were from like testing videos and stuff like that i feel like this section looks so cute so it's basically like lip glosses but ones that are a little bit like out there and that i probably wouldn't wear if you know what i mean like but you never know they might come in handy one day so i've got the mua prism liquid lip no i don't even know really i think they're just lip glosses but they're like iridescent and some of them are, are like holographic and stuff like that so it's all that kind of stuff and then I've also got underneath oh I've got more and then on the end here I've got the soap and glory spectacular lips liquid lip gloss lipstick things I don't really know what they're called I just love how this section looks it's so like pretty and glittery and cute so I've got a load of the Miss Sporty Really Me lip balms over there and underneath I've just got a few more lip glosses that I know that I probably won't really use because I'm not really a huge lip gloss wearer. I've got a load of like lip stick crayons I guess that's what you call them and these are quite old because I used to wear stuff like this all the time so I've got like the Bourjois Colour Boost, the Revlon Colour Burst, yeah I think that's the one I'm thinking of, the Revlon Colour Burst lipsticks that everyone used to wear. So yeah I've just got a load of like crayon lipsticks in that little pile. This is mainly just, oh you can't see, one sec. <laughs> need to move yeah these are all just lip liners that i probably should use to make my liquid lipstick look better but i never do because i'm a lazy cow but <laughs> they're all living down there and then this little funky section that's just sort of perched in midair is a load of my mac lip lip a load of my mac lipsticks because i just keep these because they're just like they're like my first lipsticks that i ever really bought so i just sort of keep them here in their own little section but i mainly just have them there because i just I can't get rid of them. And then also I have two of my most used lipsticks in this category just because it's easy for me to grab them. So if ever I'm wearing a nude lip in a video, it's probably always this one, which is the Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Vow. So yeah, I'm probably always wearing that if you want to know what lip product I'm wearing. And then if I'm ever wearing a slightly darker lipstick, it's probably this one, which is the Makeup Revolution. <gasps> I'm calling it Makeup Rev again. No, the Revolution lipstick in the shade Head Turn look at that packaging oh my god it's beautiful I should probably have it out like it's, it's too pretty to be in a blooming drawer but yeah this is just a slightly darker brown so again if I'm ever wearing that it's probably that one and yeah and then here we have a bunch of liquid lipsticks so at the back I've just got random ones that aren't really like any particular brands they're just a load of random ones we've got a Primark one we've got a load of the L'Oreal matte lip paints in a few different colors who is that Barry M yeah Barry M matte me up liquid lipstick NYX lingerie lip quid lipstick they're all nudes I mean they're pretty much all nude shades but that's kind of all I really go for and then underneath we've got some like Ciate lipsticks what's under these I don't want to like move everything too much oh we've just got a load of like random liquid lipsticks basically I've got a little collection liquid lip color and then these are a load of the body shop liquid lipsticks I've basically just sort of piled them up Oh no, there's something else underneath. Okay, so under here we've got a load of the Collection Velvet Kiss. And then lastly, we've got a few of my like newer lipstick products. And I've got a bunch of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I really like the... the I really like these, especially these three colours on the top. I think they're really nice. And then I've also got... I think I've got like a few layers of them. Like they just go down like... Oh, we've got a little purple down there. So I've got a few layers of them and I do really like them. And then up here, I've got these Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip thingy my bobs um i don't actually think these are liquid lipsticks so they're kind of in the wrong category but i just thought i'd put them there i've got a bunch of them we've got some sort of brighter ones down there but i've got those all there in their very nice swanky packaging so those are all of my lip products 
And last but not least, we've got my palette drawer at the bottom. So I think the best way to do this is if I take everything out as I show you, because I feel like you might want to see all of the palettes. I don't know. So this is a palette from Lancome. It's actually really fancy. I'm going to show you guys. So firstly, how cute is this packaging? And then you like pull it out. It's like a flipping book. It's fabric as well. That's actually fabric. So yeah, I mean, it looks so fancy for me, like way too fancy for little old Soph. But yeah. That is the first palette that I've got in there. So I'm gonna start with my highlighter palettes. So I've got the Lottie London Shimmer Squad, which doesn't open that way. It looks a little bit like that. I've, I don't use that enough. Like it's actually so good. I've obviously got Soph's palette with Revolution, which as you guys know, I absolutely love. But the one that I've been using, I think is at my mum and dad's house because I cannot find it anywhere. Do you remember in a video recently where I was like, I can't find it and I was so relieved that I have this backup one. I think it's at my mum and dad's house, I'm 90% sure it is. Who remembers when I did that testing Asda video? This highlighter, that is so good. Good old rainbow highlighter. This is the first rainbow highlighter that I ever got and this is by the brand Too True. I've got the MUA Lux Radiant Illumination Highlighting Kit. I don't think I've ever used this. So you've got like contoury bits, blushy bits and highlighty bits. I've got the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. This is eh, pretty great. I've got the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, which I haven't used in ages. I really should, because it's so expensive. <gasps> it looks so cool, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I've got the Sleek Solstice, is it? Yeah, the Sleek Highlighting Palette in Solstice. The packaging is so grubby, but this, again, is amazing, especially this one here. I've got a Boohoo Highlight Palette from my Boohoo testing video which looks a little bit like that. I've got the MUA Lux Light Luster Highlighter Duo, what a mouthful, and I, yeah, I've not tried that. I think it's never been used. I've also got two more MUA highlighters. These are the Prism Jelly highlighters, so you've just got three there and another three. I've got this big ass Revolution Pro HD highlighter thing and just you know you've got loads of different colors on there to use and then i've also got like a dark <gasps> i've also got like a darker version here which is more of like a bronzy highlighter palette which would probably work better for deeper skin tones okay so i'm now going to move on to like contoury palettes and blush palettes and concealer palettes and stuff like that basically just general face palettes so i've got another revolution pro hd palette this one's got powders bronzers blushes on it this is probably my most used oh Oh, smacked the radiator. This is probably my most used palette actually. It's the Sleek Face Form Contour and Blush Kit. I just really like every single part of it. So it's really good as well if you're like traveling. Not that I travel. God, why did I even say that as if I'm such a traveler? Well, it's great for traveling. What I mean is it's great for when I'm popping home to my mum and dad's house for the night. Um, Cause that's basically the only place I travel to. I use this a lot. It's probably one of my most used palettes at the moment. This is a similar sort of thing, but it's the collection one. So you've got bronzer, blush, highlight. I used to love this. Oh my God, it's so tatty. I used to absolutely love this. It's the Body Shop. Per contour palette. I don't use this much either anymore. <gasps> I used to absolutely love that. I've got a Primark cream highlighter palette. I've got a CYO contour highlight and blush palette. Jeez. Mm, there we go. I've got a Primark concealer palette. Oh, I can't open anything. These are challenging. There we go. It just looks like that. You've just got a few concealer shades and I've also got a Primark contour kit. Ah, oh, sticky stuff. The joys. This is the Primark contour kit. This is the Boohoo blusher palette. You've got a few different shades in there. Oh, this is my Tarte, Tarteiste blush palette. This was like from a very long time ago. I think I got this for my birthday or something like that. And you've got a mixture of different blushes and Tarte blushes are actually so nice. I've got the Revolution Ultra blush palette. I bet I can't open it. Oh my goodness, the mirror's pretty much popped out, but this is so pretty. They're all like kind of baked blushes or some of them are. Oh, this is a concealer palette from Collection and it's kind of got a selection of concealers and color correctors and stuff like that. Oh, I've got another Primark contour palette, but this is from their Nudes Collection and it looks like this. And I've got a Revolution Camouflage Corrector palette. 
Oh no, this one is a challenge. I remember, it's so hard to open. Oh, I've done it. Just looks like that. Again, you've got some color correctors and some concealer colors. I'm pretty sure that is all of my facey palettes. So I'm now gonna move on to my eyeshadow palettes. And the first one I've got here is the Models Own. This is the Barely There number two palette. And it's just kind of like a natural nudie kind of palette. And this is the original Models Own Barely There palette. It's kind of similar, like a similar vibe, but no, this one's mucky. It's been very well loved. I've also got Soph's palette with Makeup Revolution. It looks a little bit like this. I think we've got like a massive revolution section here. So I've got the Ultra Eyeshadows here. Wow, this is a nice like thing on it thing on it. I mean like a nice packaging. This is the hashtag Reverholics eyeshadow palette. This is also the hashtag Reverholics eyeshadow palette but in a slightly different colour. This is the Salvation palette. What is that? Oh another one with a broken mirror. I remember I got this for the unicorn video that I did where I tried to do like unicorn makeup. Yeah it's pretty awful. Another Revolution Ultra eyeshadows. This one is it's not opening. It just looks a little bit like this. So you've got a selection of colours. It's a bit of a mess, but we'll love it anyway. I've also got a couple of the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor palettes. Look at this packaging. It is so pretty. And then, oh, every time. There's just a load of like super warm toned, like orangey, pinky, reddy colours. Okay, so this is like the super brightly coloured one. This is probably the brightest coloured palette I own. These ones I haven't even tried yet, so I'm sure you guys will see them at some point in videos, but I've got the I Heart Makeup Chocolate Pink Fizz palette. I've got the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette. And I've also got the I Heart Makeup Chocolate Elixir palette. But yeah, I won't show you them because I'll probably use them at some point in a video one day. Ugh, the bottom of this drawer is a bit scabby. I'm not sure what leaked. This is the LA Girl Eye Luxe eyeshadow palette. I've got the Maybelline, like, Gigi Hadid, 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 I never know how you say her surname. The one that she did with Maybelline, that palette. I've got a Buxom palette that looks a little bit like that. This is an eyeshadow palette from Asda, and if I remember rightly, it was actually really good. This is a Boohoo eyeshadow palette. And again, oh no, I remember this one was really good actually. Maybe I'm thinking of this one. This is a little palette from MUA. I, I don't actually think I really like this one. Sorry, mate. However, this one, also by MUA, I really like. This is the MUA, oh, it's just called Six Shade Palette in Rusted Wonders. Although, as you can see, I barely ever use it because unless I'm, unless, unless I'm doing a video, I never use eyeshadows. <laughs> oh, I've got a couple of the um, collection. Ugh, that's an ancient bugger. That's really old and tatty. I've got a couple of these collection eyes uncovered <coughs> eyes uncovered palettes. This is the Revolution Pro Supreme eyeshadow. I've got a couple of the Body Shop Down to Earth palettes. I don't know which ones they are actually. Oh, I've got like a purpley one. Kind of like a grey kind of one. Well, I'm not sure. I have got the NYX Perfect Filter palette. These are like bluey tones, which I probably wouldn't really use. But again, I think I did that for a testing video. A very long time ago. And then I've got the Primark Gold Rush eyeshadow palette. This was actually well good, wasn't it? For a Primark palette, very, very nice. I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which, whoa, that opened so easily. What an angel. <gasps> That's a delight. Why can't they all do that? Yes, it does smell delish. It smells very fruity and sweet, so it's very nice. And I love the packaging. It's such a nice little package. <laughs> oh, little package. I've got two of these Soap and Glory eyeshadow palettes. This is the Ulti Matte one, so they're all mattes, obviously. And then I've got the Kick Into Neutral palette. Who remembers when I used to always use this? This was like my go-to for a while back in 2016. Another Primark palette. This is their chocolate contour and eyeshadow palette. This is so old. This is another Tarte palette. I think my nan got me this a long time ago. And how do you open it? This is probably like 2015. So you've got a bronzer, a blush, and then some eyeshadow shades, but that is, that is going back some years. And then finally, wait, let me just check. There's no one hiding in the back. Nope. Finally, we have this big ass palette, which is by Morphe. It's the, I never know how it's said. I would have said 350, but I think it's 350, 350. Who knows? Who cares? Basically a Morphe palette. It looks like, wow, it is huge, isn't it? They're all kind of like warm, orangey, bronzy shades. And yeah, it's very big, very large indeed. 
And that is the palette drawer now empty. You can see the lovely stain. I now need to put them all back. How joyous. Um, <laughs> yay. That is the final drawer complete. I will put them back later. I just can't bother right now. And that is the end of my makeup collection video. I'm just kind of like squished up here because the camera is very close to me right now. But this whole video has just been very chill. So I thought I may as well just do a really chill outro. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. I don't think I have anything else to say. That was a very short outro, wasn't it? I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.